customer's journey begins when they uh, work with their sales team and they, they select a vehicle. Uh, they may choose a 90, a 110, a 130. Then we, we do have a team in the UK that puts it together that says uh, that chooses a source vehicle. At the time that they're choosing the source vehicle, the customer is, is specking everything from the power plant they want, the behavior of the car they want, the type of suspension, the type of leather, uh, the type of windows, if they want a convertible, if they want a hard top. So by the time it hits our site in uh, Kissimmee, Florida, we take the vehicle, uh, it, we disassemble it, go down, we remove every nut bolt from the vehicle. We put the frame up to the current rev, up to our current specifications to meet the requirements um, of the power plant that will go in the vehicle and the attributes that the customer has asked for. And we will build up, uh, we will, once we have the frame to the newest spec, we will build up the frame and then the real process begins here on site. It'll go through what we affectionately call phase one. And phase one is where we put, put together the uh, suspension system, we put together the uh, the axles, we rebuild the axles completely. After the suspension is, is up to the customer spec, we roll it and install the power plant. Um, it could be one of nine power plants, everything from a diesel motor with uh, high torque to a uh, electric motor, uh, various General Motors uh, Corvette power plants. We put in the type of fuel cell, they, they will choose uh, how much fuel they want to carry. Once the, once the fuel cell and the brakes and the suspension are into place, we start installing the body panels. Um, in parallel, there's also the, the, customer, the panels that the customer has specified are being painted to the color that the customer had specified. And it, it's almost limitless. Uh, we do have capabilities of mixing our own paint on site, and we do have um, custom requirements where a sample will be sent into us and we have to create a code. We, we will paint it whatever color the, uh, the customer has spec for us. We will do it in an eggshell, we will do it in a gloss, um, and we will do two-tone, we will do uh, single color. The technicians that we have are world-class technicians. We have a sub-assembly team that built, remanufactures the doors after teardown. They will tear the doors down, they will re, refinish any components on the inside, they will replace what shows signs of wear. And depending on what the customer may have wanted, they will custom build the doors for them. Examples being power windows, power locks. Our Electrix team rebuilds the main harnesses for all the vehicles. Right after teardown, we will take the, the main harness, we will remove the sections that are no longer required and we will replace them with the options that were not possible 25 years ago. We build all the harnesses in-house. We have an upholstery team of seven that we do all the sewing on site. We do, um, we re refinish the dashes, we refinish the seats. The customer will specify any type of different material, uh, which tends to be leather. We will perforate the leather. We, uh, the upholstery team will put ventilation into the seats. The, the upholstery team will manufacture anything that the customer has required. Um, they even combining different fabrics. Customer may specify a headliner that has stars in it, so it'll have an illuminated headliner in the evening. As the paint department is painting the panels, the sub-assembly is uh, manufacturing the doors, the electrics team is making the harnesses, and the upholstery team is building the interior parts, the vehicle goes into what we call our final assembly. Now final assembly is broken down into three phases, and the first phase is body assembly. We have a team of two individuals that align the body panels, they install the body panels, they install the electrical harnesses on the bottom side. Then it will move into a the second phase of the final assembly. And the second phase of final assembly is where we install the, uh, the majority of the electrics. Uh, the electrics you really can't see when you're inside of your vehicle. Then we go into the final phase. And on phase three of final assembly, we put the items on like the grill, we put on the switches that you interact with with the vehicle on. And that team of two, by this point, everything is manufactured from upholstery. Um, the headliner gets, gets installed. We go through a final check, making sure that the functions are complete. And once the lead of the department has determined that it does meet the customer specifications, we do a walk around to make sure that everything is there. The, the lead goes through and makes sure that the radio is accurate, makes sure that all the options are included. We take it on a, on a drive to where our media department will, will film it. We bring it back in and for the next day we do quality checks. Once the line has signed off on it, we complete what we call affectionately the gate ones. 
The very next step the vehicle takes is to go to what we call gate two. We have a, a team of two, that the team of two, their only job is to make sure that everything does meet the customer's requirements and the work that we performed was to the quality we expect. They will take items apart, take items loose. They will drive the vehicle. They will put approximately 100 miles on the vehicle to make sure everything is secure. And once they get to the point to where they sign off on it and they say, yes, it does meet the customer specification and yes, it does meet ECD's high quality standards, we will pass it on to gate three. We take care of any item that, that we may have found that is not to ECD standard. The gate three team will take care of that. Now, this is the final step of the of the vehicle's process on site. Once gate three signs off on the vehicle, they are saying that it is ready to give to the customer.